This man came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations many years ago with a problem of HIV-AIDS positive. As confirmed by his medical report from the Federal Ministry of Health, a government hospital in Nigeria. Medically, there is no cure for the deadly disease of HIV-AIDS, but with God, all things are possible. Never a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal, never a disease Jesus Christ cannot cure, and never a problem Jesus Christ cannot solve. Prophet T.B. Joshua is used as an instrument of healing and deliverance in God's hands, and as the man of God prays for him in the power of the Holy Spirit, the deadly disease of HIV-AIDS positive is flushed out of his system by the blood of Jesus Christ. Set free, he instantly confirms his healing. Are you still feeling anything? Uh, okay, yes. You are not feeling anything? Fifteen years after receiving his healing from the deadly disease of HIV-AIDS, he shared his testimony with some of the members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations branch in Athens, Greece. Let's listen to him. Emmanuel. My name is Otomi Chukusa Morgan. I'm from Nigeria. I want to share my testimony for the whole world to know that Jesus Christ is still alive. Fifteen years ago, I was diagnosed of HIV 1 and 2 positive. This problem has taken me to several hospitals, several witch doctors' home, and several crusades, but all efforts went in vain. My people decided, look, there is nothing they could do, since there is no solution to HIV AIDS. Then I was taken back home to my village in order to die there because there is nothing they could do. Before one of my cousins, who knew and who discovered the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria, came down to the village to pick me. My people, my elders, uh, elders would not allow him to take me, because they believe nothing can be done. But she insisted that she knew where she was taking me to. After much debate, they made her to sign an undertaking that if I died in Lagos or on the road, she alone will bear the responsibility of bringing my corpse back home. Because she knew where she was taking me to, she agreed and she signed the undertaking. Then she took me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria, where I was arraigned at the emergency session of the church for prayer. On that fateful day, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, came out. He did not even touch me, but when he stared at me and passed by me, I felt a very hot sensation all over my body. And I was something was coming out of my mouth like air. I was gassing out some air out of my mouth. In a short while again, my body was very cold that I, who was not able to eat because I have no appetite, I was immediately hungry that I have to rush to go and eat for the first time in many years of my sickness. Then after the prayer, they gather us together and they advise us that we should go and sin no more. They did not tell us not to take our medication again because our medication is not against our healing. The only thing they told us is to go and sin no more. You should do away with sin because sin is the root of all pains. You know, when problem is beyond the power of nature, it becomes a curse. Only Jesus Christ can remove a curse. And when the curse is removed, treatment, medication, we work. Christ is the healer. Doctors treat, but only Jesus can heal. We were also advised to read our Bible and follow Christ's leading daily. Then after the advice 
and encouraging encouragement, we went home. I followed all the instruction and all the advice and all the counseling that was given to me in the church. And day by day, I found out that my strength is coming back stronger and stronger. And all the symptoms left me. And when I realized that the whole symptoms has left me, has gone, I went back to the same Phaedra Hospital where I was diagnosed of HIV positive. I did another blood test and I was diagnosed negative. It was confirmed negative. Amen. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. Today, I am healed. Since then, 15 years, I am healed and I remain healed. A natural word is not enough to express my word. The only thing I can say is thank you, Jesus, for his mercy and his compassion and his healing. If not, I would have been forgotten by now. I would have been, been a dead person by now. But the Lord healed me through his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, in the synagogue church of our nation. May his name be praised. Now, after my healing, what is? I have to live a normal life. I, did, I went and got married. And today, I am blessed with a healthy, two healthy children. You can see right there their pictures. They are in Nigeria because they are schooling. But these are their pictures. You can see from the right, that's my daughter. She's 11 years now. It's Sarah by her name. She's now in Promenade 6. You can see my son, Joshua, by name in the left. She's eight years. And she's now in Promenade uh, 3. And this is my wife sitting beside me. And you, if you look at her, you will notice that she is pregnant. <laughs> we are expecting our third baby and our first baby in Europe. May the name of the Lord be praised. And she can testify to what I'm saying. Emmanuel, my name is Utomi Rose Chukusa. I'm from Nigeria. I, I want to thank God today for what the Lord has done for the uncommon miracle that God did in our life especially in the life of my husband. Just as my husband have said it all, 15 years back, he was diagnosed of HIV 1 and 2 positive, which God see him through, God heal him. Today, he's not only healed, he's happily married, we are happy, and he's, everything is okay with us. Just as you can see, I am pregnant now. You all know that here in Europe, there's no how you can have a baby without undergoing some series of tests. And one of the tests that you have to undergo is HIV AIDS, and which I have undergoes. And this is the medical report, which proves that I am negative and the baby in my womb is negative. To the glory of God, this is to confirm that my husband is also healed. So we thank God for everything. To God be the glory. We thank Jesus for his wonderful works in our life. Now, after my happily married, eight years ago, which is 2003, I decided to travel abroad. And here I am in Greece. And uh, you know, in Europe, even before you can get your permit to work, and even before you can work in any big company, you must prove yourself to be heard, which means you must undergo a series of tests, which include HIV AIDS tests. And that I did in three occasions. Uh, one, as you can see here, here in 2006, when I got my permit to work and I start my first job, I did the first HIV test and it was negative in 2006 as you can see in this paper. In 2008, when I changed to another company, I did the same test, HIV test, and it's also negative. Because they told me to do. That is their requirement. In 2009, which is the current, the current place I'm working now, I did the same test, 
which is also negative. All this is to show and prove that Jesus Christ is the healer. Amen. Glory be to God. Doctors can treat, but only Jesus Christ can heal. Amen. And now, I am able to maintain this, my healing up to this moment. It is not by my power, it's not by my might, but because I follow the instruction of righteousness given to me in the synagogue church of all nations, and that is why today I am here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. So what I did was that, as I was told then, that my healing is for the salvation of my soul. And I know, I don't need no one to tell me, that this problem is as a result of sin. So what I did was to stay far from sin, according to the instruction given to me, and give my life to Jesus Christ. Come closer to Jesus Christ. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. Natural words are not enough to express my joy and my gratitude to God. All I can say is thank you, Jesus. And yes, we thank God for this uh, amazing testimony and this mighty miracle that God has done into your life, Brother Morgan, as he has healed you from the deadliest disease of our days, HIV, and brought complete restoration to your life. May God receive all the glory for this amazing healing. Indeed, our brother Morgan is a living proof as a committed member of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Athens, Greece. He is the living proof that receiving a miracle, a blessing, a deliverance is just a means to an end. It isn't the end. The end is the salvation of our soul. And personally, I thank God for the life of our brother Morgan for he has maintained his healing by faithfully following Jesus Christ for the salvation of his soul. Glory to God. I rejoice with his family, and especially I rejoice with our brother Morgan. His case reminds me of the case of blind Bartimus in the Bible, where after his healing, he followed Jesus Christ all the way, proving that it is not enough just receiving from Jesus Christ, but also maintaining it. Amen. Amen. Ε, για να επιβεβαιώσω αυτό που λένε και οι αδερφές, ε, πράγματι όταν βλέπεις τον Μόργαν από την ημέρα που άνοιξε η Εκκλησία, ο Μόργαν ήταν πάντα αφοσιωμένος στις, ε, στις εργασίες στην Εκκλησία με τους ε, ταξιθέτες, με τη λατρεία, πάντα με το χαμόγελο, χαρούμενος, ποτέ δεν παραπονέθηκε. Αυτό σημαίνει που ο Μόργαν πράγματι είχε λάβει τη θεραπεία του και είναι θεραπευμένος και ακόμα και σήμερα πριν από λίγο εγώ έμαθα που ο Μόργαν είχε περάσει από αυτή τη διαδικασία και είχε περάσει αυτή την αρρώστια λάβοντας τη προσευχή και τη θεραπεία και πράγματι ήταν έκπληξη για μένα αλλά δοξάζω τον Θεό που έχει πάρει την απόφαση να διατηρήσει αυτή τη θεραπεία ε, και έχει σταθεί και είναι σταθερός στην απόφαση που έχει πάρει για να μπορέσει να διατηρήσει αυτή τη θεραπεία. Indeed, I want to confirm that our brother Morgan, from the moment, from the day that the Synagogue Church of All Nations Athens, Greece branch opened, he has been a committed member, he has been busy as an usher, he is also a member of the worship uh, team, the choir, and he's always full of joy, with uh, joy he serves the Lord, he has never complained, and to be honest, uh, lately I found out that our brother had been through such an ordeal, that he was actually suffering all those years ago from HIV, and I want to thank God for the fact that uh, he has made the decision, Brother Morgan has made the decision to follow Jesus Christ for the rest of his life, and uh, he is faithful according to the instruction and righteousness that has been given to him. Και εγώ με τη σειρά μου θα ήθελα να πω ότι ο αδερφός Μόργαν είναι μία απόδειξη ότι ο Ιησούς Χριστός, ο Κύριος των Θαυμάτων, είναι ζωντανός στις μέρες μας. Και επίσης με άγγιξε πολύ το γεγονός ότι μπόρεσε με τη χάρη του Θεού να μείνει μακριά από την αμαρτία και κοντά στον Ιησού Χριστό για να μπορέσει έτσι να διατηρήσει τη θεραπεία του μέχρι και σήμερα. I would like to also add that... Uh... 
Brother Morgan is living proof that the miracle worker, his name is Jesus Christ, is still alive today. And also I want to say that I am impressed and touched by the fact that our brother has been able to maintain his healing by staying far from sin and close to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I am judging to offer, but to thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I have nothing to offer, but to thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. A few years after giving his testimony at the Synagogue Church of All Nations branch in Athens, Greece, Mr. Morgan Chogosa and his family came back to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, to once again share his inspiring testimony to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. Children of God, shout Emmanuel. My name is Morgan Chukusa Otome. This one is my senior sister, my brother, my sister's husband. This is my daughter, my wife, and my daughter as well. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was the problem of HIV is positive. In fact, before I knew that my problem was HIV, I was terribly sick. I have gone to so many places, hospitals, harbor homes, churches, crusades, series of fasting and prayer, all to no avail, until my sister took me to Peter Staff Hospital at Victoria Land. Then there they advised that we should go for HIV test. They took my blood and they went to the Federal Ministry of Health. They tested it and it, it turned out to be HIV positive, my dear. That was another sickness entirely. It was another world I start to live. When they discovered that I have HIV, that was entirely a different thing. It was not only the sickness, I was now isolated. Nobody went to associate with me again. Nobody went to near me again. Nobody went to talk with me again. It resulted that the, my fam, entire family knew that HIV has no solution. So they resolved that I should come back from the city to the village. What for? Just to wait and die. Because everybody knew that there was no solution. I was having constant headache, dryness of the mouth. I was coughing. I was having diarrhea. I was feeling dizziness. If I move an inch, it's as if they were pushing me. I want to fall. I was having body. All my part of my body was paining me. It got to a level that I cannot even sit more than 30 minutes. I cannot stand more than 30 minutes. Even to lie down was a problem to me. Because once I lie down, I cough till they break. They are frustrated. They don't know what to do again. So they resolve that since it's HIV, there's nothing they can do again. They don't want to spend their money again. I should come back to the village and stay. I remained like that until my cousin, one of my cousins, came from Lagos. Even when my cousin came to carry me, the family made him to sign an undertaking that if I died in Lagos, that she alone will bear the responsibility of bringing my corpse back home. But because she knew what he saw here in the synagogue church of foundation she agreed and brought me to the synagogue when i came to the synagogue <laughs> i really thank god i was uh, opportune to be at the emergency session when the man of god senior prophet tb joshua came out he just stared at me i felt a very hot sensation all over my body from my head to my toe a matter of minutes, about two minutes again, my body become very cold. It's as if they remove, I was, the low, uh, heavy load was removed out of my body. I become very light. And the next 30 to one hour, I become very hungry before I cannot eat. They only forced me to eat to take medicine. But this time, I start looking for food. I was able to eat. I start eating fine. Immediately after the, uh, the prayer, all the symptoms disappeared. No more symptom. I now have appetite to eat. I become very light. I was not able to move. My strength started coming back. And after some time, I discovered that I was okay. 
I remember one particular day when my friend, one of my friends, when he knew that my case was HIV, he told me that, look, <laughs> HIV cannot be cured. That his brother told him that HIV, there is a, it's like something like ant moving inside my body. That medicine cannot kill it. I told him that the heat sensation I felt, I felt when Prophet T.B. Joshua passed me by, when he prayed for me, that that heat is enough to kill even snake, if it, even if it's snake inside my body, that heat was enough to kill it. So I went to the hospital, back to the um, laboratory. They tested me. It turned out to be negative. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did you feel, sir, when you went to this test and it was confirmed you were negative? You know, when you are, given a, when you are sentenced to death, later they say that sentence has been cancelled. You know how you feel. I was very happy. I was very joyous. I ran down straight to the synagogue here and tell the people, look, I'm okay. So everybody was jubilating. I ran to my people and told them that I'm okay. So, in fact, inside me, I knew I was okay. Just the, the test was for people around me to believe that, yes, I was okay. I am okay. Wow, hallelujah. And tell us, uh, ever since that wonderful healing you received, uh, tell us, how has your life been since then? How has your health, how has everything been since then? So wonderful. Since I was healed till today, I have never been admitted to the hospital, even once, even a second. About 18 years now, I am healthy. There's no problem. After three years, I got married. I got married. I started to live a normal life. This is my first daughter. This is my wife. And this is my last daughter. My son is not here because he's going very far. So that's why he's not here. Praise God. I'm, I continue to live a normal life, begin to do my job normally. No problem. I don't have any problem again. Then after about six years, I traveled abroad. I traveled to Europe, in Greece to be precise. And uh, when I got there, I lived a normal life. After some time, I went to the hospital again. And uh, it turned out to be negative again. When my wife was to give birth to this, uh, our last daughter, because our last daughter will give birth to this, our last daughter in, in, in Europe. She went to the test. They conduct all the tests, including HIV. It, it's negative again. It was negative as well. So I really give God all the glory. Wow, well, hallelujah. One more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for this life-transforming touch our brother received. And uh, brother, you're mentioning about the various hospitals you went to, uh, both here in Nigeria and abroad when you went to Greece, that confirmed this powerful healing. Could you just show us on the board uh, the medical reports we're seeing here, how uh, medically you were confirmed to be healed from this deadly disease? Uh, this particular result is from the Federal Minister of Health. It was the one that confirmed me to be HIV positive in Nigeria before I came here. This was when I got after my healing, that turned out to be negative. And when I went to, in Europe, this particular hospital is, is a United Nations uh, hospital. So they tested me again, it is negative as well. So I give all, God all the glory. Amen, wow. Indeed, to God all things are possible. Uh, what is impossible with man is very possible with our Lord Jesus Christ. We give glory to God, viewers. We can see there that particular report is actually written in the Greek language, but it confirms that he and his wife are completely free from this terrible disease of HIV AIDS. And for that, we give all the glory to Jesus Christ. And so we know there are many people seated here right now waiting for the same touch you received all those years ago. And there are viewers around the world watching you who are facing one challenge, physical or mental or spiritual in one way or the other. What is your advice to them based on what Jesus Christ has done for you? Yeah, I will put my advice in three ways. First, to those who are outside, still living a rough life. Before, I was really living a rough, a rough life. I was patronizing prostitutes from one hotel to the other. In fact, I was working in the hotel as well. I work in a proper club, I work in a rest hotel, and some other small, small hotel. So I was really patronizing the, these, uh, these uh, sex workers. So my advice to those people, they should stop that because HIV it is real. <laughs> they should not joke with their head. Glory be to God that I'm here. And those who are outside, who knew that they, have, they are HIV positive, there is hope. They should seek the face of God, just as I have done. And they too get their healing, just as I have gotten my own healing. And the people here with me, you are already here. 
glory be to God. Your healing is sure. All you need to do is to follow the instruction given to you by the evangelist. And I tell you, you two will stand here and testify to the goodness of God, just as I'm doing today. And I pray it, may be, it, may, it will be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. My name is Utomi Rose, and we are from Delta State, Nigeria. And what can you say about the wonderful testimony in the life of your husband? Yeah, I don't have much to say, but just to say thank you, Jesus, for what he has done in the life of my husband. And I want to thank God for making me a part of this testimony. Because it's not a common testimony, and I thank God for bringing it into our life. Because many, many people there know that HIV is, is really a very dangerous disease. And for you to get this kind of testimony that you were once an HIV is positive, but now is negative. It's really a great uh, miracle in our life. And I give God all the glory for bringing this miracle. And I want to also use this opportunity to thank the man of God who God used to bring such miracles to our life. I say, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And ever since you've met your husband, how has his health been? Uh, his health has been okay. Everything has been working fine. He has never been admitted uh, in the hospital for once, as he rightly said before. Everything has been okay. Uh, the, the children have been healthy, and I myself have gone to test when I was pregnant of my baby, and they confirmed us negative as well. So I give God the glory. Thank you. Jesus is indeed a response from a happy heart. And finally, madam, what is also your advice to people of God and those present here? Uh, I want to advise people out there and the ones here that they should have faith and trust God that there is nothing God cannot do. There is no sickness that God cannot heal. Just have faith and trust God that he's able to do all things. Amen. One more time, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ the miracle worker. And right now, sir, for the glory of God and for the benefit of those people who are seated here waiting for their own healing, we just want you to uh, collect your medical reports, move in their midst and show them so they too can see for themselves the evidence of this powerful healing in your life. Uh, we really rejoice with you. So just, you can just show the people seated here right now the testimony, the medical reports, and we give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful healing. Those seated here, we know that very too soon, you two will come back to testify to what Jesus Christ has done in your own life. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train de suivre le témoignage de cet homme qui était venu ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations il y a 18 ans pour un problème de VIH sida. Effectivement, il était venu parce qu'il était malade. En temps, il avait, il se sentait très mal. Il, il était, il tombait malade à tout moment. Et quand il était parti à l'hôpital, il a été testé et confirmé positif au VIH. Ils ont dépensé de l'argent, mais sa situation ne s'est pas améliorée et il était obligé de retourner au village pour aller attendre tranquillement que la mort vienne le chercher. Alors, une de ses cousines a eu à le prendre et l'amener ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Tibi Ochoa, a eu à prier pour lui. Immédiatement après la prière, il nous affirme que les symptômes avaient complètement disparu et juste après, il eut une grande faim, ce qu'il n'avait pas eu depuis longtemps. Il eut l'appétit et il a commencé à manger à nouveau. Donc, juste après quelques temps, il retourna à l'hôpital pour aller se faire tester et le résultat, cette fois-ci, s'est révélé négatif. Quelques temps après, il voyagea en Europe où il eut à refaire le test là-bas et il a été à nouveau testé négatif. Il s'est marié, il a deux enfants, il est là aussi aujourd'hui pour témoigner des bienfaits de Dieu dans sa vie et dire au peuple du monde entier d'avoir toujours la foi, de ne pas désespérer car même malade, Dieu est capable de tout faire dans notre vie. Gracias a Dios, acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de este caballero que vino hace 18 años a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con el problema de VIH, SIDA positivo. Dice que este hombre al saber que tenía este problema, su vida se desmoronó, no tenía ninguna esperanza, fue de un lugar a otro en busca de solución, iglesias, hospitales, pastores y muchas otras eh, 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 cosas para poder buscar solución a su problema sin hallar ninguna solución. Él decidió venir a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones motivado por uno de sus tíos 
quien ya había visitado la sinagoga y había comprobado el poder de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo y es así como el profeta Tibi y Josh oró por él en el poder del Espíritu Santo dice que solamente pasó de lado y simplemente sintió un calor intenso que desmoronó esos poderes de satánicos en su vida eh, haciéndolo libre de toda enfermedad y todo padecimiento para la gloria de Dios cabe destacar que hace 18 años vino a la sinagoga y lista de naciones y desde entonces ha sido sanado para la gloria de Dios podemos ver a su esposa a sus hijos y a su familia que han venido junto con él para regocijarse de lo que Dios ha hecho en sus vidas gloria sea a Dios continuamos Hallelujah. Well, sir, we thank God Almighty for your life. We thank God for your family's life. And we just want to encourage you that as you've been healed by Christ's word, you must continue to be ruled by his word. And we know you'll go forth to the world and give this wonderful testimony that people may, may know Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Father.